Hey everyone, welcome back to CCTT. So today we're going to be looking at a workstation build. This is actually going to be used as a server. Uh, it does have the Intel Xeon E21 uh, 740 or 7, 74G. Okay, well, <laughs> let's just put it the E21 74G. Uh, it's got uh, 3.8 gigahertz. It's uh, used generally for servers. Um, it can also be used for workstations, and some people even game with it. Uh, we've uh, match this with an ASUS WS uh, C246 uh, Pro. It's uh, got uh, 64 gigs of uh, DDR4, crucial RAM. Uh, right now I'm running it just as it is. It doesn't have uh, XMP on. <clears throat> we have uh, five uh, SATA drives and they're in a RAID array number five. Uh, Silverstone uh, case, you can get up to 12 hard drives inside of here if you have the appropriate um, brackets. What I'm looking to do is to demonstrate a uh, simulated RAID 5 failure. And so what I'm going to do is uh, I've already unplugged SATA number 1. This has already been installed and ready to go. But here's SATA number 1. So we've unplugged that. Um, and then I'm going to allow it to boot into the system. Now, what we're going to do is if you look down here, uh, you'll notice that under our... Uh, let's go into advanced real quick so you can see the server as it's set up. Under advanced, you're going to go into the uh, storage configuration. And you'll notice that uh, Intel RST Premium with Intel Optane has been provided, or it's clicked on. And then the um, M.2 uh, storage is also uh, set up so that it's RST controlled. Um, I've disabled the uh, LPM support. And then you can go through each one of your uh, separate hard drives that are inside of here. Note, note that the one has been unplugged, so it's going to have an error or not even show up that it's being on. Now, if we go back, you want to see what the... Uh, let's see, down here, we're going to go to on the bottom. You're looking at the Intel Rapid Storage Technology. This is the uh, RST. So you click on that, and it's going to let you know that we've got a RAID uh, 5 volume. Uh, it's set in parity. It's degraded. Now, the reason why it's degraded is because I pulled off one of the SATA cables, and so it's not seeing that hard drive, and so it knows that there's an issue with the RAID. Um, it's not failed. It's just degraded. Uh, failure would be two or three of these disks all going up at one time, and we'll show how that looks. Okay, so we're now back inside of Advanced. We're under the uh, RST Advanced. Remember, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to show you it's at the bottom of the list under this. So under Intel RST, we're going to click on it, and you're going to go into the actual RAID volume, and it'll tell you more data about it. Now, there's only one option right now, which is delete. If you delete it, you're going to delete all the information in here. Absolutely do not delete any RAID volume until you've recovered your data. ASUS's disk also comes with the RST driver. It comes also with the software, something similar. But for some reason, you can't download from Microsoft Store this version. And the um, for some reason, when you install that uh, software from the disk, the program doesn't actually come up and it's not usable. I suspect it's because RST requires you have one piece of Intel memory module installed on the motherboard. When you get uh, your uh, motherboard, do not throw this disk away. This actually contains the RST software that you will need for this version of RST on this motherboard. Um, and so it's important that you save that and don't ever get rid of it. Anyways, <clears throat> you'll notice under here, the RAID volume information, it does show that it's uh, RAID 5. It's got nine terabytes right now. It's bootable. Yes, it is bootable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to F10 and I haven't made any changes. That's fine. And I'm going to let you see this thing will boot up. Now, when you first lose your uh, hard drive, um, what's going to end up happening is, is that it may shut down. Uh, the, the operating system is going to shut down. The RAID should allow for this to kick back on 
And once you reboot, for example, if you reboot and you have a hard drive failure while you actually, uh, bef before you uh, turn it on, you'll get this screen and then you'll get dot, 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 and it'll stop. If you get that on the top of the window screen and you don't see the windy wheel, and then it just stays static. Turn off your system and reboot it again. It should work again. You may only have a single dot and then just let it go for a little bit. And then what's happening is Windows is gonna find that it's got pieces of it on these other disks. It's reconfiguring itself so that it'll work. Now, I haven't seen anywhere on the internet that's given this explanation so you can easily get into here. I'm not gonna go into the operating system because it loaded but I do want to show that you can actually do it. Um, and this is actually someone's computer system that's a private business and I don't want to, I don't even want to get into that. But um, anyways, I'm, I'm holding SATA cord number one and Windows is booting up. So when you get a uh, RAID setup, RAID 5, RAID 1, RAID 2, whatever you've got, and you've got it set up so that if you have a failure in your RAID, you will want to uh, try booting it a few times to see if it'll go back on. Now it's degraded, which means that one of the hard drives is not working. The rebuilding of the RAID is the more important part. And right now, without having RST software on to be able to do that, the motherboard doesn't show you how to rebuild your RAID. All right, now that the system is completely shut down, I'm going to plug back in the SATA and my little lights in there, and then I'm gonna power it back on. So if everything works out correctly, Windows should find that it's got its drive again, and it should operate as if it never lost it. Now it's gonna go through a reconfiguration as it boots up. I'm not certain how Windows is going to treat the plugged in drive again, because it basically limped along. And let's see if whether or not number one in BIOS, it's finding this is degraded. So let's go back to uh, advanced. And inside of advanced, uh, let's go down to our RST technology now it's rebuilding. So it's rebuilding the RAID. It's currently rebuilding that RAID. So it, it has a new hard drive in there and it's either deleting all the old information and rebuilding it, but it did it automatically. I didn't touch it. And this is, the, this is what I wanted to know. You search the entire internet and no one really tells you how this works. So kind of exciting. I didn't know it would work this way. I just figured I'd plug it back in. It would just be say, Windows would find itself again and it would rebuild. So I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and rebuild before I do anything. And then I'll turn back Windows on and see whether or not it works. So I wanna thank you for showing up again uh, on this channel. If for any reason uh, this video helped you or if you just, you like the content, would you do me a huge favor? Would you just go ahead and select the subscribe and also do a like? All right, thanks again. I'll see you guys next.